Arsenal fans right now everywhere. Probably a good thing we're not going to win the Champions League, mate. I mean, that silverware, it looks really heavy. I, I don't even think Cazorla could lift the trophy anyway, so it's probably a good thing, right? Yeah, mate. <sighs> yeah. What's going on, everyone? It's the true Geordie. Back again, and Arsenal have been humiliated at home by Monaco. 3-1. This was supposed to be the easy draw. This was the best draw Arsenal had in five years against fourth place in league uh, Monaco with five first team players out of this game and yet they still lost it and once again Arsenal proved to me that that Man City game where we all thought maybe they turned a corner, they've got this Coquelin, that they haven't turned a corner it was bullshit, the Coquelin was a lucky find, it wasn't a genius little strategy from Wenger, it is still the same Wenger he has been for the last five years and it came out that those players were the ones who decided let's play on the counter attack against Man City instead of going punch for punch pass for pass against a big team and get knocked out like we always do this was the team that faced Stoke away like I said in my uh, final whistle show on the True Geordie YouTube channel the only thing that will beat Arsenal in this game is if Arsenal underestimate them like they did against Stoke and it was identical to that because Arsenal players seem to think alright we've got the better technical ability we're going to pass these lads we're going to win this game what they don't realise is the organisation of Arsenal Wenger is nowhere near where it needs to be those 11 players on that field are not getting told what to do constantly they're not drilled at all all, by the looks of it, they just seem to pass it around. Let's just make it up as we go along. Whereas a team like Monaco, who are drilled, who are organised, can make the difference up and then some, and they did in this game. And it was one of the worst nights, in my opinion, for Arsenal Football Club in Europe I've ever seen. It was so comfortable. This wasn't a case of just Arsenal were bad and Monaco were okay. Monaco comfortably won this game and deservedly won this game. Piss fucking poor. And Arsenal Wenger, I'm sick of the excuses, right? I'm not even an Arsenal fucking fan, and even I'm sick of the excuses. 50 fucking million spent every summer not good enough whatsoever so the first 10 minutes pretty standard neat and tidy little football from Arsenal but once that didn't work once the goals didn't start coming straight away you've seen Ars uh, uh, Mesut Ozil Welbeck and uh Alexi Sanchez coming in from the wide areas, not stretching the defence and making life so easy for that back four. And to make matters even worse, you had Bellerin and Gibbs who weren't overlapping and weren't stretching either. And Giroud, I mean, this was one of his worst fucking nights ever. So really after that, Monaco settled into the game lovely. You had Condogbia making lovely little tackles in midfield, dictating the play, bossing it. And after 20 minutes, it really picked up when Welbeck lost the ball. Not good enough once again. Matinho plays it into the middle. Condogbia with acres of space. Where's the defensive midfielder? Where's anyone closing him down? He gets the shot away on his left foot, has a blasted goal. It takes a deflection off Murtaseka and it goes into the back of that. Espina. Espina's just, <laughs> Espina's just watching like, what the fuck do I do here? He couldn't do anything about it. Now it was slightly lucky, but. In the large scheme of the game, you think to yourself, it's nothing less than fucking Monaco. As if they were the better team from start to finish, so much better organised. And really, at half time, yes, Arsenal came out again to try and play a little bit wider. You had Cazola giving it to Alexis Sanchez. He crosses it in. Giroud puts it wide. But with Giroud, you're never going to win major trophies. You're not going to win Champions Leagues. You're not even going to win Premier Leagues. You've seen Premier League strikers who've done the business over the years. Drogba, Van Nistelrooy, Van Persie, Shearer, people like that you can't hang your hat on Giroud and tonight fucking finalise it anyone who's sucking Giroud off after this don't get us wrong he's not a bad player but he's not the type of player who's going to get you those kind of trophies fucked so not long after that you had um, Fabinho made a great tackle in his own half on Sanchez it's a hell of a counter attack he brings the ball forward he's got a couple of people in front of him and then he's got Per Mertesacker Per Mertesacker has got the choice of either following Martial who, which, which was on the left wing or coming to the ball he should have obviously stuck with his man there was already two men in front of him who were his problem anyway they were the, they were the problem Fabiano had the problem to deal with them anyway so he didn't have to come to he does come to he leaves a massive gaping hole Martial gets the ball played to him and then Koscielny has got two versus one Berbatov to his fucking left and Martial to his right Martial takes it in a little bit feeds in Berbatov Berbatov one touch bang back of the net 2-0 job done pathetic from Arsenal and Mertesacker how many times have I said that big German you think to yourself big hard bloke he should look like and he plays like a fucking funny week in week out too often I mean he has the odd good game I'm not going to say he's always bad but that is the biggest stage of them all and he's cost Arsenal and for me a true manager right now would have a little boot where he's like good night Mertesacker son should have happened a long time ago but you are gone in the fucking summer Arsenal did try and get back into the game, but for, for the most part, 
It was so comfortable for Monaco. They had a couple of chances when Sanchez had a shot saved. It came, it rolled out. It rolled perfectly. Like, you know when you get one of those little bowling ball fucking helpers for little eight-year-old kids who want to play bowling with their parents, right? It rolled out perfectly like that into the path of Giroud. Eight yards out! And he still skies it over the bar with an open fucking goal. Unbelievable. Giroud, another black mark next to his name if I was the manager right now. That would be it. And Welbeck, I mean, I'm getting on to him as well because he hasn't been good enough. Sanchez, then uh, Walcott comes on for Giroud. Sanchez has finally got someone who's going to make those runs from the outside inside and he's going to actually have someone to play the ball that he does he gets the ball into Walcott has a shot it bounces back out into the path of Welbeck Welbeck shoots not clinical enough again yes it hits off the back of Walcott but it, it, it's instinct and his instincts are not good enough Giroud and Welbeck are not going to guarantee you enough goals a season to win your major trophies and right now Arsenal are a fucking huge club I've given them the respect they deserve here they deserve better than those two strikers for me uh, so right it's getting in the 90th minute here you're thinking to yourself Arsenal pilot forward, they brought on Oxlade-Chamberlain the corners aren't going the way they wanted to but a corner is headed out, Oxlade-Chamberlain gets the ball on the edge of the box, he takes a touch, he loses his man and then he kills the most beautiful shot into the top corner, it's a goal, it's 2-1 and although half the Emirates had fucking disintegrated at this point because they now fucked off at 86 or whatever the rest of the people there enjoyed that goal it was a hell of a goal and at that point you think alright Arsenal don't do anything daft. 2-1, just keep it at that at least, at the bare minimum. But Arsenal was seen so many times in a two-leg game especially... Bombing forward, leaving so much space at the back. They paid the price when Oxley chamberlain and you can tell he loves Arsenal, to be fair to the lad, loses the ball. Bernard then sends uh, Carrasho, who had been quick off the mark, but he didn't really look like he had his shooting boots on until this point. On his right foot, takes it in, edge of the box, smashes it in, off the post, 3-1. And it's game fucking over. Arsenal fans, let us know how you feel in the comments below. Football fans in general, how did you see this game? Can can Arsenal recover from this and get through? I mean, we know what Arsenal are like. They're lucky bastards at times. Wenger seems to get away with the most ridiculous things. But even this might be a mountain too big to climb. Twat of the match, which I always give out on these match reviews, if I can remember. Something in my memory is shit. But I've got to go. There's three players I think could give it to. Mesut Ozil. 42 fucking million with extras added on, whatever the fuck he's worth. Not a chance. Since he went Arsenal, and now he looks good sometimes. I'm not going to say he doesn't. Sometimes he looks brilliant in games. But is he a 40 million pound player? Not a fucking chance right now. Giroud had a shocking game. As a striker, that's as bad as it gets. Mertesacker, though, is going to take home the fucking, the globe tonight, the twat of the match award. Because that, coming to, when you had your man behind you, and leaving the centre-back 2-1-1 on -one behind you, criminal defending. Shocking. Man of the match. I could give it to a few Monaco players, even the attackers, but I thought they were so good defensively. Between... Uh, Abdenauer, who was brilliant in centre, uh, central defence, or Condogbia. I'm going to give it to Condogbia. I thought he was brilliant in this game. Now, let me know what you think is going to happen for Arsenal in the future. Will it be what seems to happen a lot with Arsenal? They'll have a really bad result, a really important game, and then they'll go and beat Hull. It all will seem forgiven. Arsenal fans seem to, all right, everything's great again. We've just, we've played some lovely fancy little football against a piss poor team, and we'll beat them, so all's forgiven. Because they've got Everton coming up this weekend, and I've got the feeling that they're going to win it against Everton and it will be all be forgiven is all forgiven this time or is this running deeper let us know what you think in the comments below don't forget to like the video thanks for watching subscribe to the true Geordie YouTube channel and I'll see you later